guys I am quite excited as I begin my two days a week in GP practice so we've been going since October as you guys know and we've been going for once a week now we've started going for twice a week and um, we basically go on Tuesdays and on Wednesdays now so today's Tuesday I've been left to do things quite independently so I have decided to you know vlog my typical day in GP land um, in terms of uh, in terms of like vlogging patients obviously due to confidentiality I can't however there's something I've been doing lately on Instagram which is I discuss like some interesting cases I've got and I just talk about like my uh, day my day during uh, placement so obviously follow me on Instagram if you want to see like more uh, real up-to-date um, things because obviously uh, because obviously guys being on YouTube is you know it's a it's hard it's a task I put on myself which I enjoy and love but at the same time I need to remember that I'm doing a full-time course like there's a lot to get done and sometimes you know I have this mindset of oh I try and put a video out every week but it's just not it's not real <laughs> it's not the right expectation so I'm also excited because I'll be flying out tomorrow uh to italy i just need a break guys i need a break and bona boy is coming to town to my hometown if you guys don't know i'm italian i was born and raised in rome italy and yeah so we're excited to have bona boy the giant of africa Bese master in italy <laughs> anyway uh let's just leave it i'm dry i'm on my way to placement luckily enough my placement is not too far it's about 15 minutes drive literally and um yeah i'm making my way and um you know there's a sun in london guys like it is mad like my skin is glowing <laughs> but yeah so this is just what i wanted to say just a little disclaimer in terms of um what you see on my placement may not be exactly or reflect exactly what other people are seeing in their placement the good thing about gp is you get to see a lot of variety you get to expose yourself to different things uh, different conditions therefore um, it just gives you that mm, of you know a flavor of texture do i like gp i do however i may have to do another video on what to expect in gp plus placement once i finish the placement so far so good oh, guys just got to my gp surgery i am walking I'm not gonna show too much because I need to keep it private, but yeah. so they can do the wee here, especially the ladies. Stool bottles and some tea panics. Hi guys, so basically uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I've seen to, uh, this morning. I have this little book which was actually given to me by our library at uni uh, on our first day. And this, this is basically where, oops, this is basically where I 
where I write all my uh, not notes but like all the cases I see see because I need to document three cases a day per when I attend GP placement on a uh, report uh, that we then have to give back and that is part of our portfolio to see for obviously for um, the university to see at what level we are what type of patient we've been seeing so uh, there was an interesting one which was a young guy who was diagnosed with a generalized anxiety down in South Africa. Uh, it's interesting because um, he was put on a lot of medication that we wouldn't necessarily give here in the UK, or if we do give them, they're quite for a short period of time. So uh, this patient came in because um, he's been feeling, he feels like his anxiety is getting really worse, and therefore, um, he wanted to um, uh, review his medication and see whether we could administer those medication that was prescribed to him down in South Africa before he moved here. So basically what happened is that he was prescribed drugs in South Africa. He had bought a quite huge amount of supply and he's been taking those. Uh, but however, he's kind of new to the surgery, so we just had to like call him for a review. He came in, and um, he he also has been diagnosed with obsessive obsessive compulsive disorder, which is basically OCD, when people are used to doing a certain things repeated time uh, for a repeated time. Um, so yeah, um, he was on a lot of. Um, mental health medications such as um, citalopram so he was basically on quite a few medications like citalopram uh, alprazopam which apparently is a benzodiazepine which is not used in the UK it's banned and this definitely we had to tell him that we can't prescribe that medication he's also on zolpidem Zolpidem. I'm not good with all these drugs. Shout out to all those people that can actually say drug names. For me, it is so hard. Like, it is actually hard. So basically, this drug is um, used for people that suffer with uh, uh, insomnia. Uh, it's Again, it's not a drug that we would ne generally give in primary care. However, uh, because it's been put on it, we, we can't issue the drugs, but we've told him to try and not to use it every day if he can uh, because obviously there is uh, an addictive um, um, how would I say it? you can become addictive to the drugs so we've uh, obviously told him about the benefits and the risk of actually being uh, onto that particular drug for a long period of time and he's on um, a reflux drug because he does suffer from gastric reflux um, he's on lorazepam as well uh, so um, he takes it he only takes this when he feels really really anxious so we told him okay you can continue with that as well and uh, basically obviously with any mental health uh, patient we have to ask about suicide and uh, self-harm so he's not at risk of suicide uh, or having any thoughts of suicide neither self-harm and he's never had any of that so that um, we have to just document that and uh, also because of uh, the amount of um, drugs that is on we recommended that he gets an ECG done because certain uh, medication can cause arrhythmias so we just recommended that he has an ECG done and also we uh, recommended that we would uh, um, stop him from some of the drugs that he had on his chart and start him on the uh, um, continue sorry on where is it he could continue on satalopram, uh, pregabalin, which is the drug we told him that we use for anxiety here in the UK. So we started him on pregabalin, 50 milligrams, and also we offered him um, CBT uh, referral, which is basic, basically cognitive behavioral uh, treatment or therapy uh, and this is basically a kind of a counseling session whereby the patient goes in has um, 
a professional, how can a professional that deals with uh, talking therapy and obviously try to see what the problems are, how to overcome them. And he was really keen on doing that as he's never had it before. So he was keen on doing that. And then we obviously had to ask the normal, like, does he smoke, does he drink, what job does he do? And then uh, we also offered a follow-up appointment in three weeks to see how he does with this uh, three medication that is now on rather than the six, seven that he was prescribed during the early morning. Wearing some white leg trousers. Assistant, as I started with her at 7 30. I came here a bit early, but yeah, she was so nice. This is the level of being a PA, you know, you gotta sacrifice this morning. Guys, I'm currently in the healthcare assistant room. I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. I've got some white leg trousers, yeah. it's quite a little room, just the necessary to actually just take bloods and stuff. Uh, there's a trolley that she's gonna bring out. Okay right, guys, all ready? Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a video in my car first because the light is so good. Like, there's the sun. So, before I go home, oh my gosh, like, today was an experience, definitely. Um, so, I got in with the healthcare system and um, she basically said, oh, you, you just look at me first and then after a couple of patients, we'll make you to have a go. So, here I am, you know, looking, practicing, seeing. Uh, she had a couple of patients for blood. She was teaching me the technique and she was obviously telling the patient that I'm um, learning, I'm training to obviously take blood. So eventually I got the first patient in and this patient, uh, the healthcare care assistant told her, oh, are you happy if Stefania uh, tries uh, to take blood from you? She was like, oh yeah, that's fine. And then here I am with my tubic grip trying to, you know, get the arm nice and tight to get the vein and then she's like actually i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i would rather have the healthcare assistant do it so i was like okay that's fine what a way to knock down my confidence i guess anyway long story short um she was my first ever patient keep it at that and you know the fact that she had said yes and then she said no i was a bit sad but it's okay you just have to you know swallow take it in so i took it in i'm like don't worry the next one is gonna allow you so eventually the second person came and the second person was like oh yeah yeah no problem so i go in do everything advance my needle into the vein and then for some weird reason when i put the tube it just wasn't catching it like there was no blood coming out and so the hair care assistant uh, palpated on the vein and she was like you're definitely in the right vein so i don't know what she done eventually the blood came out second patient same thing third patient the same thing happened so at this point here i am i'm like honestly i'll just do the injections and um i'll do the injections and the inr testing because we we'll also do test people's inr so people that are on anticoagulation treatments so uh eventually different because she has a mixture of patients so the ones that came some people came for like injections so flu vaccine uh pneumonia vaccine or vitamin b12 so those ones are done easy peasy straight into intramuscular and i am injection that's it then uh we had kind of a break so she I'd gone to the room. I normally train with a particular uh, GP, um, particular paramedic. So she went to the paramedic and she was like, oh, Stefania. Uh, she, she obviously asked, oh, is Stefania like taking blood already and stuff? So she was like, oh, actually she is. But then 
for some reason like she's not like getting the blood like she's in the right vein but she's not getting the blood so uh funny enough my other colleague my classmate was straining with um the paramedics so uh he come to me and he's like stefania honestly because he takes blood so he's like stefania do you want to practice on me and in my head i'm like oh my god, god no, no 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 and then he's like practice makes perfect practice with me so um I said okay i'll come later and then afterwards i went to the room where him and the paramedic were and they were like yeah practice on our arms and i'm like oh okay so funny enough i done it on them first go and i got it so eventually i i thought that the fact that I, um you know you're doing it on someone that you don't know one and number two i think i was panicking like i was like what if i don't get it what if i don't get it and i think i was overthinking the whole process rather than just doing what i meant to do and knowing that i'm confident like you understand i lacked in the confidence and motivation so so funny enough once i done them uh our break was kind of over so i went back with the healthcare assistant and she's like so you're doing the next one i'm like okay and this guy came in and i'm like are you happy for me to do your um, take your blood and he's like yeah yeah why not and he was like really he's among i'd say the difference between the other patient and this patient was that he was really like positive and he was like, yes why not so i'm like okay so i do my stuff prep his skin everything i go in once got it and i was like in my head i was gassed <laughs> i was like yes god i knew you could do this for me because in my mind i'm like thinking god please god please god please he done it for me so me happy 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 you and um the healthcare system was up he was like oh my god you were really good anyway i was like okay so he went home then we had more patients for injection i you know i done all those ones and then we had the last three patients all allowed me to do it and one boom it went in funny enough we had the little old lady that came at the very end and she was so sweet and she was like yes try it. you can do it on me you can do it on me so with this one i decided to use a butterfly needle which is a little bit smaller and you can actually see if you if you got into the vein because it will come down a little fine tube if i if i get a picture i'll put it on here and legit i advanced came out done it and she was like oh i didn't even notice you finished and i was like oh so finish on a high uh guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh like share subscribe if you have any tips for taking blood please comment them down below because your girl needs to get onto this thing like a game asap so i'm so happy and yeah i think i had a lovely week at gp i think i love the fact that i'm going two days a week now and it's literally tuesday and wednesday so it's perfect and uh, just write below what other videos you would like to see from me and yeah catch you in my next one